This short video is on the use of imagination in meditation. So there are two main ways that the imagination can be used in meditation. One is as the metaphoric question where you ask what's this like? And that can be used very generally at the beginning of a meditation to help you get into a sense of yourself, your mood and your energy and your general state of mind as well as more specifically in relationship to particular sensations like for example in the nostrils you can ask well what's it like and the mind produces a sense or a, an image that helps you engage more fully more completely with the whole of your mind but another way in which the imagination can be used in meditation is as suggestion and this can happen all the way through meditation and it's a skill that is very useful to develop over time. So let's say, for example, you notice that your, your mind is, is quite unsettled. In the water image uh, it might be sort of ruffled or bubbling or turbulent. Uh, you, you bring, you say the words a calm lake. You evoke the image of a calm lake. And evoking the image can help the mind start to find its way into calmness. The image itself starts to affect the mind. It's a condition which affects the mind. Now, this doesn't always work, it has to be said. Usually the, more, uh, the less distracted you are, the better in this instance. But it's certainly worth giving it a go and exploring it. Uh, another way of doing the same sort of thing is that you might get a sense of, have a sense of yourself as being quite constricted and constrained and uh, contracted generally. And you bring to image uh, an open sky or an open space. So you just say that, the sky, or an open space, or a vast ocean. So you're suggesting an image which will in some way create a new condition which your mind can relate to. So in this way, as the, the image emerges it can have an effect on you and then you can as it were stay with and follow that state of being more expansive more open now the use of images in this way i would say usually is quite brief you just make the suggestion notice what happens and then let the image go Another way of approaching this, another example you could say, is that at the beginning of a meditation practice you bring three particular images to mind that relate to uh, the direction you'd like to go in. So uh, you bring to mind, or you suggest, a, a, a big stable mountain, a big mountain. So you have this quality of stability, of presence. You just let the image be there and just notice if any effect happens. You don't push it or stay with it. Then you can have the image or bring to mind the image of a lake, a broad expanse of water that is generally calm and maybe has light shining on it so it's bright and just let that image work on you on your general mood particularly and let it go just be open to what results and if a, there is a quality of sort of expansiveness starting to emerge then just stay with it follow it 
And then the third image is that of the clear blue sky or the or a sky. And just you suggest that, be open to that. Let the image come to mind for a short while and then let it go and just notice if there's any change and if there is, if there's any kind of openness and uh, more clarity, then just stay with that, follow that. And then from there, develop your intentions to, for the meditation practice, to stay present, stay alive to your experience and to do whichever meditation practice that you intend to do.